What is up YouTube? New Scar here. It's about time that we slap a turbo on this M54. So let's get started. Let's cue the intro. Now my plan for this video is to get the turbo mounted up as well as all the oil lines, oil feed and return, as well as the coolant feed, and I need to do some modifications to the oil pan, including an oil pan baffle. So let me show you guys what I have to work with. So I got some Dash 10 AN line that I was originally going to use for the 2J, but I'm going to be reusing for this build. Um, I do have a fitting here, which I will not be using. I'm also going to be reusing some of the fittings, as well as the oil drain for the turbo. Hopefully that fits. I'm not sure if it will, but I'm going to find out right now. Now this is a Dash 6 AN feed line made by Rally Road. This line is specifically designed for bottom mount turbos, which I'm going to be running, so it should be more than long enough to supply oil to the turbo. Now the way I'm going to supply oil to the turbo is with this little guy right here. This bolts up to the same location as the stock oil pressure sender, so this is going to go where the original oil pressure sender goes, and the oil pressure sender is going to go right here. And there's a little port right here where I can attach one of these fittings that go to a Dash 6 AN, and this is going to attach to the Rally Road oil feed line that goes straight to the turbo. Now a common solution for supplying oil to your turbo is to feed oil from the Vanos Bantle bolts, but I decided not to go that route because from what I understand when Vanos activates, you do lose a little bit of oil pressure, which frankly I don't really want to take the risk with this turbo. You know, I, I get it, it's a, it's a cheap Chinese turbo, but I'd rather not risk it. By feeding oil from the oil pressure center location, it should be relatively constant, so I think I'll be better off with something like that. I also have a Dash 10 AN fitting, a 45 degree fitting. I'm going to be running a Dash 10 AN oil bung. This is going to be a bolt-in solution, not a weld-in solution. Now one of the problems with running bottom mount turbos is the stock motor mounts. This does get in the way of the intake of the turbo as well as the intercooler piping depending on how you route everything. I do have a solution for this. Now the solution that I have for that is by Rally Road as well. Unlike the stock arm, this is going to allow some clearance so that the intake can go underneath the motor mount. And then you have options on whether or not you want to run the intercooler piping either above the arm or below the subframe. I personally want to run it above the arm, but you guys will see that in future videos. So, without further ado, I don't have much time left for tonight. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get started on this install. So, in typical BMW fashion, the nut won't come off the stud. Great. Oh well, let's get along with it. I'll just figure it out later. Block number two. Hardware is too long, so I gotta get new hardware. So if I wasn't taking enough of a gamble, I'm gonna be using the gaskets that eBay provided me, or Max Pina Ruts. God dang it! Even I still consider it eBay. So this turbo actually isn't clocked in the right position. Uh, the turbine housing needs to be something like that and the oil feed needs to be on top, which that is actually the return And that is a feed so I got to swap this about 180 degrees so Turbo's on uh, It's clocked, but I think it needs some fine-tuning just to give you guys an idea of how it sits that's how much clearance there is and that's I think what I want to do is I want to run my intercooler piping right under the exhaust manifold and then we'll figure it out from there anyways it's getting late so I'm gonna wrap it up for tonight and then we're gonna continue this tomorrow So this is pretty much going to attach to the oil center area 
I think I should be using some Teflon on this fitting, but I'm just gonna mock it up right now. I have the line kind of attached. And let's see how I'm gonna route this thing. So the area that I'm trying to get this to feed off of is somewhere right about there, there's a bolt. Right in this area, I'll try to plug in a picture for you guys. Finally got my packages from Summit Racing. This is gonna be all my water related stuff. Wine voucher? Why did they start doing this? Anyways. Hurry up. You're in the shot. Got a couple dash six and fittings. Two for the turbo, one for the block. Another voucher. <laughs> I got four 90 degree dash six and fittings. I also got some dash six and braided line. So I think this is where I'm gonna route the oil line. I'm gonna have it come from the turbo, go through the back, and then kind of go through here. And that is where the oil line attaches. I do need to modify that adapter because it doesn't clock in the right position. So the oil feed kind of gets in, or there's a couple lines that get in the way of the oil feed, so I need to figure out a way to solve that, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. So moving on to the return line, I have the turbo clocked right around the 6 o'clock position, and I have a 90 degree coming off the turbo. I need to put an oil return bung right about there, and I have my straight fitting, and it should end up being something like that. Now there's a couple issues with this setup considering how low the turbo sits in relation to the oil level as well as the way that the oil is going to drain out of the turbo. Number one, because the turbo sits so low, there is a chance that under left hand turns that the oil could slosh kind of to this side and go back up into the turbo. Luckily I'm not driving this car on track for HPDEs, it's a drift car. so. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna let that one slide, but I'm just gonna send it. <laughs> worst comes to worst, if this setup doesn't work out or I'm getting smoke out of the turbo, then I'll probably just put in a scavenge pump later on, but I'm gonna try this for now. So before I bolt in this oil return bung, and it is a bolt-in solution and not a weld-on solution, I do need to grind down this little lip right here. I need that to sit kind of closer towards the center of this because this needs a flat surface to pretty much seal on. So it's pretty easy to tell where the oil sits in the oil pan by this change in color on the lower oil pan. And it's pretty apparent that this line actually goes above where the gasket would be. So that tells me that regardless, no matter where I put my oil bung, uh, it's always going to be susceptible to oil being in the line. Unless the car is in high RPMs, in which case, uh, I'd imagine that this oil level is going to drop uh, maybe like a quarter to. I'm also going to have issues with this oil pan baffle because it sits kind of right in the location where I want to put my oil bung. So I got to modify this somehow or have it sit either below or above the baffle. I'm also going to be using this Achilles Motorsport oil pan baffle. It has some nice flaps on here to keep the oil within the oil pickup location. See another one like that. Might as well, since the oil pan is going to be off. Out with the old. like that. Then I just gotta weld some spots. So it doesn't seem to leave much room at the top on like the stock baffle. So I'm probably gonna have to have the oil return bung sits below the baffle which ideally I don't really want but eh, whatever. I'm gonna have to deal with it. Now since I am running a bottom mount turbo it makes my options very limited so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Worst case scenario I'm probably gonna have to mock up some oil scavenge pump which is no big deal. So Let's keep going. So like I mentioned earlier, I have to grind down this little lip here 
that way I can have this entire surface where I can put my bung. I do have to be careful because if I don't get this pretty flat, I'm going to have some trouble sealing that bung. So in this setup, I would have two washers that would go one on either side to seal it off. So it's important that I get this as flat as possible so that it seals properly. So I changed my mind about where I'm going to put my oil return bung because I'm using this wrench as a spacer for where the bung is going to space out my and fitting. It actually puts it at a really awkward angle to try to connect the and hose to these fittings and on top of that right about here is where my oil pan baffle sits from Achilles Motorsport so instead I'm actually going to put my line right about there which is still a little bit of an awkward angle considering that I have to hook up some and line to it but I think this is going to be a better option. I'm also going to clock the turbo um, a little bit past six o'clock so I'm gonna have it actually tilt a little bit kind of like that probably like 10 to 15 degrees just so I can get a little bit more and line in here so that it's not a super kinked return hopefully that works out now if you're running a top mount turbo I highly recommend tapping into the front timing chain cover because that is going to be above the oil level uh, regardless I think that it is a really good idea to have the oil return above the oil level but in the case of my bottom mount, because the oil level, regardless, is going to be higher than the oil pan, I really don't have any options. So I think I'll be okay because as long as the turbo is above the general oil level of the oil pan, it shouldn't back up into the turbo. I may have issues with how the oil drains out of the turbo, depending on like if I'm at idle or if I'm making a hard left turn. But worst comes to worst, if this doesn't work out, I can always just mock up a scavenge pump. So I'm just gonna send it. Send it, send it, just send it. Just end it. Smart. I'm using a cup this time around. Minimize the amount of cleaning I have to do. So it's a little bit oversized, but should work. And a very minimal amount of shavings in the oil pan. Job well done. It's not too bad. I could work with that. Yeah, alignment's a little bit off, but whatever, you can work with that. Clocking angle is pretty decent. Oh, she's taped up, marked, ready to cut. may be a little bit too long because it puts the turbo a little bit more at an angle than I had originally intended but the benefit of having it this way it actually clocks the compressor at the perfect spot now the reason I couldn't do that originally is because that bolt is in the way so I can't move it that way because that and fitting is going to be in the way but yeah it's complicated but it does put it at a really nice position I may just keep it I don't know We'll see. Turns out I ordered the wrong fitting for the coolant lines for the turbo. So I ordered two of these. These are actually M18 by 1.5 to a dash 6 AN. So here's my water feed setup coming off the block, going down, and feeding right to this side. I originally wanted it to go up over the trailing arm, but because of the way the turbo is clocked, the AN fitting couldn't fit over there. So I had to point it down. And then for my coolant return, I just have it sitting in there. Um, I need to mock this up once the motor is actually in the car. So 
just sitting for now. I also changed the oil feed if you guys didn't see that already. Instead I have it coming over here from the front of the block. It's still kind of tucked nicely. It's there but it's not noticeable unlike how some people have it going like above the motor which I really didn't want. And there's the coolant feed up close again. So that's pretty much my setup. Um, did the oil feed in return, I did the coolant feed, have the turbo clocked, the exhaust manifold mounted. Now none of this stuff is completely finalized. Um, there's still a lot of work to do on my end. I gotta do the oil pan baffle, I gotta weld that in. I have to take off every single end line and I gotta clean them out because I did use an angle grinder to cut those so there's probably dust particles in there that I need to get out of there. All the gaskets and stuff, I need to get that done. You know, pretty much all that stuff that needs to be buttoned up. But it's also the stuff that I don't really find interesting so I'm not even gonna bother. So, I got a lot of work to do off camera, but I figured this would be a perfect time to close out the video. So, thank you guys for watching. Really exciting stuff going on. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this turbo turns out. So stay tuned. See you guys in the next video.